Marathon were up against it in terms of having had a very good planning system in place many years ago, having gone through a transition with SAP being introduced, uh, putting in place something they thought was going to do the job, but in actual fact uh, gave quite a lot of pain uh, in terms of maintenance of the system. It didn't quite fulfil either uh, the, uh, in the same way the sort of planning that was envisaged. Um, we used Primavera P3, which was a fine tool, uh, linked to SAP through a Flint interface. That was a one-man band. It was uh, prone to problems and with printing problems with uh, Primavera. Um, so the sum total of that and the lack of expertise that we had available to us uh, in terms of planners with the knowledge drove us to say, what else can we do? What we wanted to address was the ability to get efficiency out of the work that we were doing. We did not want to come to the same piece of equipment and isolate it many times. We wanted to go to the one piece of equipment once and encompass all that was reasonable to do at that particular time. We also wanted to be able to uh, put together a program uh, or a plan that took into account the resources available to us at the time, the materials and any clashes between work. Um, some of this was being done, but other things were not being done. So it was to take a step forward into a, a, an efficiency drive as well as organising the work properly. At first when we looked at uh, Microsoft Project um, we did so because corporately there was a decision to go to Microsoft okay. Project. So we started uh, a little bit on the back foot because our experience had been Primavera and um, Microsoft brought a different uh, set of opportunities which we didn't realise at that time. Um, I think the biggest uh, bonus, as we saw it when we examined uh, the uh, situation with Microsoft Project, was the ability to um, give ownership in appropriate places. Um, clearly, if we could get ownership, we would put a stop to the fictional stuff that went into the plan to build us something that was really a work of fiction and nothing much else. Um, that, for me, was one of the, the prime uh, bonuses. Uh, the other, probably, uh, without doubt, is the um, ability for Microsoft Project to work with other Microsoft Office applications. Uh, it gave us uh, benefits. That's not to say that we couldn't use SAP directly with uh, the likes of uh, Excel. It just makes it so much easier. Um, we had no ability to really get down to resource planning properly uh, without the use of Microsoft Project. Uh, we could have gone about something differently and gone for Primavera, uh, but the benefits uh, in the area of ownership were, I think, the things that uh, drove us to that uh, end. The Programme Framework have brought uh, their expertise and given us some guidance in areas where we really needed the guidance. And I think that's the single most important thing that Pro Programme Framework have brought. Their expertise and guidance when we needed it and in the places that we needed it. Yes, we had people that could go and do a configuration for X, Y, and Z, but without the experience that goes with that, we'd have been doing trial and error for long and weary. I would also say that uh, uh, generally the, uh, the quality and the speed at which things came together uh, was uh, very good and uh, helped us enormously in getting through the uh, amount of work that we needed to do to configure uh, what was quite a complex tool uh, to make it useful uh, for us offshore as well as onshore. We have had tremendous success with the use of SharePoint. Mm -hmm. It's been the part of the EPM solution that has struck a chord most. We have developed quite a lot of that and we want to do some more. Indeed, we're doing that at the moment 
with SharePoint 2007 in our maintenance management, which ties up with. Um, and that whole integration piece, again, it comes back to, you know, um, the ability to integrate them all together uh, has been a big positive. So more of that uh, in the short term.